Good morning. This is Pastor Mark Sewell from the Vine Church in Smithsburg. I'm grateful for you to connect with us today. I wanted to give you just a couple words of encouragement as we start our Wednesday together. Together is the key. We are in this together, and we're going to get through this together with each other's help. Amen. Amen. Hey, Elasia. You know, in Psalm 34.3, I want to read that. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. And that's the key. We're going to do this together. We're going to exalt his name together. I just want to share a couple other quick, quick verses all about being together, which is right what we're doing, right what we're doing today. Therefore, God has joined us together. That's Mark 10, 9. And he's done that. This has been an incredible couple months. We haven't been able to physically see each other, really. But now, God's connected us in a different way. Obviously, we're online, but he's still connecting us. He's connecting us to each other through his word. He's connecting us to each other through his spirit. This is, this is going to be good. There's better days ahead. Another verse I want to read to you is in Acts. They all join together constantly in prayer. Man, this is powerful stuff. You know, we have Zoom prayer gatherings every Sunday during this COVID-19 season. We join in prayer. We pray for each other. Had a whole lot of requests last week as we were connecting and talking to each other. And just know, if you sent us a request, we're all still praying for that. Regardless of the situation, we're lifting your needs up before our living God. And it's good because we're in this together. Last verse I want to read for this morning is, is in Acts again. The Acts, lots of lots of action, lots of lots of things going on with God's people. Um, here we go in Acts two forty four. All believers were together and had everything in common. And wow, you know. Uh, a year ago, you may not have thought we all had so much in common, but now think about it. We all go to, to Walmart, we have to wear masks. How crazy is that? We're all kind of worried about germs out there. My, my three-year-old grandson he says, we can't play on the playground because germs are still there. All this COVID-19 has created a new togetherness. We have this in common, but more importantly, we've got Jesus. He's here for us, and, and it's, it's just good that we can go to him with our worries and anxieties. We're together. And as my shirt says, we're, we are together. So I want to urge you now, reach out to someone this week. Call them, text them, however you can connect. Talk to them, pray with them, ask them if they have any needs. Because we are truly in this together. And I'm so grateful for our Vine Church family. I'm so grateful for just the community that we have. Even during this, this strange time in our nation's history. Jesus is bigger than this COVID-19. Jesus loves us deeply and I love you guys too. Lots of things going on tonight. We have a men's Zoom Bible study going through the book of James. Boy, and that's a tough study to get, deal with. Um, then on Sunday, we've got our Zoom prayer gathering. Starts at 9 o'clock. If you need that link, just reach out and I'll send it to you. 10 o'clock, we go live on Facebook. It's going to be a great day. We're, we're starting a new, a new series. I'll tell you more about that on Sunday. I hope you can join us. Bring your family in. Let's do some watch parties. And then at 1045, we're going to a Zoom forgiveness Bible study. Man, and that's just rocking our world. Thank you so much for connecting with us. I'm just praying for you. Just know that we're together. Jesus has united our hearts together. Have a great day. Bye-bye.